show you how to set up multiple pre-planned targets with uh, GBU-38s, um, which are also JDAMs. So let's hop right in and set up some targets as we are on the ground here. Let me set my view up here. Okay. No, that was wrong. Let's do that one more time. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my stores, click on my JDAM at J82s, and they start aligning. Now let's go into the JDAM display mission. As you can see, we have up to five pre-plant modes we can utilize on each bomb, on each station. So that basically means right now station 7 is selected in PP1. Let's go over to the left wing, which is station 3 in PP1. Let's start there. Okay, let's hit the target UFC and um, let's uh, actually, oh, let's actually bring this over a little to here. All right, so you can see my um, my upfront control panel a little bit better. All right, so target UFC is selected. Let's go into position. And this is pretty much straight and forward. Um, let's start with the lat. Again, we are having a target at north. Um, two, five, five, four, one, one, and, and five, seven. That's the first coordinate. All right, and let's go to the longitude, which is easting. And we are at five, four, three, one, five, three. Enter decimals are four zero. Here we go. And let's go into the elevation feet. Now the target is at sixteen feet, and PP one is set. Now select PP two for station three. All right? PP one for station three is set. Now we select PP two, box it, and we are still on station three. Let's go into the target view. See again. Let's go into the position latitude north. Second target for that is on 25 degrees, 54 minutes, 09 seconds, and 82 decimal seconds. All right, so that's the first one. Let's go to longitude, which is easting. 54 degrees, 31 minutes, 53 seconds, and 40 decimal seconds. Okay, one more time. Elevation and feet. 1, 6. And you see PP2 is now set and not crossed out any longer. Important note. Select PP1 so it's it get it will get easier, you know, to drop the bombs in sequence later on. Let's step. Now PP1 is boxed for station 7. One more time, same procedure. Position, latitude, northern. Third target is at 25 degrees, 54 minutes, 11 seconds, and 62 decimal seconds. Longitude easting, 54, 31, 56, 07. Here we go. Let's go into the elevation again, which is 16 feet. And we be one ascent. Let's go to PP2, box it, target UFC, position, latitude, third target is at 25 degrees, that went wrong, north, 25 degrees, 54 minutes, 9 seconds, and 94 decimal seconds. All right, longitude is easting, 54, 31, 56, and 10 decimal seconds. Let's go into elevation feet again. 16 feet, all targets are there. Same as we did as station three, select PP1, that it's going to be easier for sequencing later on. Okay, so one last thing we can do is return, select the J82s here, and set the E-fuse to instant. So E-fuse is set to instant, you can step through and you see E-fuse is set to instant for both stations. So, up to here, everything should be good to go 
and we can bring the jet here. Everything should be good to go. So here we are at around 20,000 feet, 21,000 feet. Okay, and we are right about eight miles uh, away from our initial point. So let's start to fence in. Master arm set on, lights off. And um, we're gonna go ahead and select our JDAM and go in into the um, JDAM display and into the mission. So the thing is, what we want to do is we are releasing in sequence. So what, what is going to happen is I release PP1 station 3, it switches over to station 7. Then we release PP1 again. Then it switches over to station 3, we select PP2, release. It will switch over to station 7, we select PP2 and release again. So this is the sequence of uh, what uh, we are going to do here. So let's turn on the autopilot and turn left into our target area here. Here we go. So there's the target area. And um, let's bring this one over to the AG mode. Jetum display mission and this one over to the to the HSI. So there's the min and max range circle. Let's increase speed a little bit. Okay, we're gonna stay here. I'm gonna turn on my barometric altitude hold. So things are getting a little bit easier here. Okay, we're right about 20 miles away from the target area. And we're waiting to um, get in range, 30 seconds. So let's take a closer look. One more time, station three, PP1, select the we drop, we change over to station seven, we drop PP1, then it will change back to stations, uh, station three, we select PP2, it will change station, we select PP2, and this is how we release four JDEVs. All right, so we're getting in range. Here we go. So now we are in the range, in zone, and what we do is we start releasing the weapons. One, one, select two, select two. And this is how you release four JDEVs in sequence. So what you can basically do is you can start to turn and fly your leg back home uh, while these bombs are traveling in. So this is how you basically do it. I hope that helped you out a little to understand how to pre-program JDAMs. This is working with either Bruce or different pre-plant modes you want to utilize on the JDAM. And um, see you all next time again. So now let's watch the, watch these birdies go in.